The supreme art of war is to subdue the enemy without fighting. Appear weak when you are strong, and strong when you are weak. Let your plans be dark and impenetrable as night, and when you move, fall like a thunderbolt. Supreme excellence consists of breaking the enemy's resistance without fighting. Victorious warriors win first, and then go to war, while defeated warriors go to war first, and then seek to win. The greatest victory is that, which requires no battle. To know your enemy, you must become your enemy. There is no instance of a nation, benefiting from prolonged warfare. Treat your men, as you would your own beloved sons, and they will follow you, into the deepest valley. Even the finest sword, plunged into salt water, will eventually rust. Move swift as the wind, and closely formed as the wood. Attack like the fire, and be still as the mountain. When you surround an army, leave an outlet free. Do not press a desperate, foe too hard. Opportunities multiply, as they are seized. When the enemy is relaxed, make them toil. When full, starve them. When settled, make them move. Who wishes to fight, must first count the cost. If you wait by the river long enough, the bodies of your enemies will float by. Know yourself, and you will win all battles. To win 100 victories, in 100 battles, is not the acme of skill. To subdue the enemy, without fighting is the acme of skill. So in war, the way is to avoid, what is strong, and strike at what is weak. Build your opponent a golden bridge, to retreat across. When strong, avoid them. If of high morale, depress them. Seem humble to fill them with conceit. If at ease, exhaust them. If united, separate them. Attack their weaknesses. Emerge to their surprise. He will win, who knows when to fight, and when not to fight. If fighting is sure to result in victory, then you must fight, even though the ruler forbid it. If fighting will not result in victory, then you must not fight, even at the ruler's bidding. All men can see these tactics, whereby I conquer. But what none can see is the strategy, out of which victory is evolved. He who is prudent, and lies in wait for an enemy who is not, will be victorious. Quickness, is the essence of the war. A good commander is, benevolent and unconcerned with fame. The enlightened ruler is heedful, and the good general, full of caution. Victory usually goes to the army, who is better trained officers, and men. He will win, who knows how to handle both, superior, and inferior forces. The good fighters of old, first put themselves beyond the possibility of defeat, and then waited for an opportunity, of defeating the enemy. 
in the practical art of war, the best thing of all, is to take the enemy's country whole and intact, to shatter, and destroy it is not so good. Know thyself, know thy enemy. A thousand battles, a thousand victories. If you know the enemy, and know yourself, you need not fear, the results of a hundred battles. The opportunity to secure ourselves, against defeat lies in our own hands, but the opportunity of defeating the enemy, is provided by the enemy himself. If you are far from the enemy, make him believe, you are near. Secret operations, are essential in war, upon them the army relies, to make its every move. He will win, whose army is animated by the same spirit, throughout all its ranks. The art of war, is of vital importance to the state. It is a matter of life, and death, a road either to safety, or to ruin. Hence it is a subject of inquiry, which can on no account be neglected. For them to perceive the advantage, of defeating the enemy, they must also, have their rewards. It is only the enlightened ruler, and the wise general, who will use the highest intelligence of the army, for the purposes of spying and thereby they achieve great results. If we know that, our own men are in a condition to attack, but are unaware, that the enemy is not open to attack, we have gone only halfway, towards victory.